Hi, today I'll be talking about targeting and retargeting in Epom's white label DSP. On the targeting side, when creating a campaign, you would have the following options. You got segments, which is retargeting. You got geofencing, that is mobile generated radius within which you can target your customers. You've got categories, languages, and a bunch of other things, but let me stop on all of them. So categories are uh, based on the IAB category that the SSP passes back to you. Some SSPs pass this, some SSPs don't, so it's better to check with them before moving forward and selecting one of these. For every feature that we have, you can allow or block to include in the targeting or exclude that from your targeting list. You can go with categories, you can select languages, there's a big list of them over here. You can work with hardware versions, you can work with operating systems and browsers, specifying their versions as well. Over here, you can choose to include or exclude the targeting capabilities that you made. If you want to target a very specific browser version, you should use user agent pattern to target by that. Ad placements is also passed by SSPs in some cases. This allows you to target a specific ad spot on the page. By default, all the traffic will flow towards this campaign, but from over here, you can choose which exact SSPs will send you traffic out of the ones that you've connected to. Geopositioning allows you to target by country, by region, and by city of your choice. You can also target by extensions and keywords, again, if they are passed by your SSPs. Please know that extension can hold literally anything if you agree upon that with your SSP beforehand. IFA lists allow you to target specific identifiers of users, and this list could also be populated automatically as time goes by by Epon White Label DSP. And of course, well, I wouldn't call this targeting, but still you can choose the time of day and day of week when your ads would run. Now, this is the targeting on the campaign level, but also you have targeting available on the creative level. From over here, you have the option to choose device type, whether traffic is coming from desktop, phone, or tablet, whether it's coming from sites or apps, fault position. Please note this is also passed by the SSP, as well as the connection type the category over here as well, and you can define if you want to run it inside an interstitial. That's what about targeting, but for retargeting, all you have to do is go here to segments. You can create a new segment, give this pixel, rather this code, and give it to the advertiser for them to insert on their page. As the users land on that page, this counter will go up and then you can use this specific segment, well, in this case, it's called Jump Purchasing Visitors, to target these users with your message when buying from all the SSPs that you're connected to. And again, you can either include these visitors or exclude these visitors from taking part in your campaign.